Time now for the I-14 Sports Report. You can hear it every Thursday night at 6.15 right here on KNCD-FM, Public Radio for Central Texas. Also on various podcast platforms, myknct.com has uh, some of those links. Also, um, I-14 Sports, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all has the show on there and links to our various programs and shows that we do, live broadcasts also of high school sports here on I-14 Sports, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And, of course, uh, helped out by the nice folks at KNCT-FM. Oh, yeah. Pledge Drive starts next week. I've been part of this station for over 30 years, folks. We need your support. KNCT.org, Pledge Now button. Make your pledge of support to this radio station. Make sure that public radio stays on the air for a long time to come. And you can hear those local events, those local broadcasts, and this beautiful, beautiful music we have. I encourage you to make that call and that pledge of support. Go to knct.org or call 877-533-5628. Write that number down, will you? All right, let's talk a little football. Yeah, believe it or not, we've got pretty much seasons is over. Uh, kids are out of school now. Uh, got some summer baseball coming your way beginning June 6th. That's next Tuesday night. Every Tuesday night I'll be broadcasting some live uh, baseball games on Facebook, on I-14 Sports Facebook page. So look for some great baseball games beginning next Tuesday night. Uh, most of them double headers at 5 and 7 o'clock, so we'll have more information for you on our Facebook page. But let's talk football for next year. The football schedules are out, and here's what it looks like. We'll just go uh, – for each team through their schedule, beginning with a scrimmage uh, August 17th for the Clean Kangaroos against Temple. And then Chaparral kicks off their season against uh, Colleen on uh, the 25th. Then uh, weeks following, uh, Colleen will be hosting, uh, excuse me, going to Stony Point. Uh, they'll be hosting Cleburne. Uh, they've got a bye week the 15th of September. Then Granbury will be played in Granbury, Midlothian at Leo Buckley, uh, Lake Belton over at Lake Belton. They'll take on Ellison in the clean Ellison game. That's October 13th. Write that one down. October 20th, uh, they travel to uh, Red Oak. Uh, the clean Roos are back home against Shoemaker on the 27th to finish up the season on the 3rd with the Waco Lions at Waco ISD. For the Ellison Eagles, so scrimmage on the 17th against Leander Glenn. Then their season... Uh, Will not district season will not kick off for a couple more weeks after that. They have Harker Heights, uh, which is a 5A 6A game that will be on Thursday, August the 24th, and then they'll take on Hendrickson and their other non-district game. Then they have a bye uh, going into district. That's a good place for Ellison to have that. Then they have to uh, go to Red Oak. They'll be at Shoemaker on the 22nd of September. Uh, then back on the road at Waco. Uh, then out at Searles against Cleburne on the 6th of October. Then the Cleveland Ellison game, as I said, on October 13th. Then uh, Ellison will take on Granbury at Leo Buckley and Midlothian at Midlothian and end up the year November 3rd against Lake Belton at Leo Buckley. For the Harker Heights Knights, uh, scrimmage against uh, Round Rock is going to be at Buckley Stadium. And that will be coming up on Thursday, August the 17th. And then they will play Ellison in one non-district game. And that will be followed by another non-district game. And that will be at Leo Buckley. And uh, Harker Heights taking on Smithson Valley. That's going to be a great ball game. Then they go into district uh, pretty soon after that. Uh, Cedar Ridge is another team they're going to go up against. Then Odessa Permian, of course, uh, this time uh, they're going to be playing. Odessa Permian will be coming to town September 15th, write that one down. Then district play starts for the Knights, Flickerville Weiss. Uh, um, it'll be at home at Searles. Then Midway on the road, Hutto at Buckley. A uh, bye week on the 13th. And then Temple uh, will be played over at Wildcat Stadium, Coppers Cove, and Heights at Buckley. And they'll finish out the season November 2nd at Bryan High School. Shoemaker. Uh, going to do some scrimmaging against Midway Panthers and then non-district against San Angelo Central. Then they kick off uh, district play against Chaparral, and that will be at Chaparral, then Midlothian at Midlothian, Lake Belton at Leo Buckley, Ellison and Shoemaker at Leo Buckley, and then Red Oak 
at Churchill Stadium. Then they have the bye week. Uh, then they go to Waco to play Waco High, play Cleburne at home, Colleen at Leo Buckley, and then finish out Grand Bear at Leo Buckley. So Shoemaker scrimmage, um, great scrimmage there for them. Plus this schedule, very good because they're going to be at home a lot uh, during that. Uh, let's go over to Chaparral High School, scrimmage against Austin Navarro, and that will be coming up um, on August the 11th. Then they will have another scrimmage against Walnut Grove, and then, of course, they'll kick off district against, against Colleen, then Shoemaker, Marble Falls, uh, and also Brian Rudder at Rudder, uh, Waco University at Waco, Pflugerville at home, Elgin at Elgin, Rouse at Cyril's at home, and Pflugerville Conley at uh, Pflugerville Conley. And, of course, finishing out with Belton at home. And then they have a bye week the last week of the season. So all that will be posted on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That is the schedule for the 23 season coming up starting in August for KISD football. Yeah, how about that? Hopefully be back on the radio on KNCTFN. More about that coming up in the future, but look for more broadcasts. To be back on the air after a short one-year uh, vacation. We're back uh, to get back to about 45 years of KISD football. So looking forward to that. Uh, looking forward to coming to y'all more often and talking to you a whole bunch. Check out I-14 Sports, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for all the local sports news. And, of course, as always, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. You are watching I-14 Sports Network.